Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bad Bug channel. My name's Evan, and today we're going to be doing some more work on Bad Bug. I thought now would be a good time to get the gas tank out uh, and check its condition. Um, you can see there's there's some rust and wear on it. Uh, before, my grandfather had uh, one of those carpeted pieces and um, almost like a cardboard type material, I think, that came from the factory that served as kind of a protector. You can see right here where the spare tire has rubbed over the years. Uh, we've got kind of everything all unhooked uh, and ready to go, so it should be pretty simple. We've got four bolts to remove, and you just flick these tabs out of the way, and it should pop up. How hard can it be, right? Well, we're about to find out. Um, you know, I really, I really wasn't sure about taking this thing out, uh, but I think they've that when my grandfather and dad last uh, painted this car, the, the teal, I don't think they took the tank out. So I wanted to do this just to check and make sure that everything is okay. Um, if you look, it's all open through there, and the, the tank, the bottom side of the tank is right up in there, and it is exposed to the rain, the elements, weather. So they can rust, and the last thing that you want is a hole in your tank when you're driving, wasting all that money, wasting all that gas. Uh, so we're going to try and get it taken out, and uh, just one more step to getting this thing ready for paint. If you look, you can see all the colors uh, that they've done. They've, they've never done the whole thing. I don't know that I'm going to do that either. Um, like I said, we've got the carpet kit and that cardboard protector. We might just kind of hit it with that uh, sea sand. Um, nothing real fancy, not polish it, not clear coat it or anything. Uh, just so everything is consistent so we won't have the black, the yellow, and the sea sand there. So I'm going to get you guys set up and we're going to get to it. drained the tank already, which was a bit of a fiasco. I had bought a really long funnel and uh, got everything situated, pulled the hose out uh, that connects to the, to the fuel line that runs back to the motor, and I had a small bolt that I was going to try and plug it up with while I got everything situated. But the moment I shoved that bolt up into the hose, the hose split, and so uh, fuel was leaking everywhere. And then it was panic mode, and uh, gas went everywhere while I was fidgeting with the fuel tank, or the, the portable gas can, and the funnel. So I didn't videotape that. Uh, it was pretty pathetic. Um, so, yeah, here's what it is.
put gas in there. Yep. Awesome. Fantastic. There was, I guess this is the vent line that runs through here. Boy, and that's that's how old that hose is. It just cracked. So that wasn't so bad, except for uh, the little bit of gas that was left in the reserve. Um, kind of forgot that you need to tilt that gas tank up a little bit for it to all slosh down towards uh, the very bottom. Um, so we got a little bit of gas that, that spilled out, um, but it's okay. The tank, um, it's rusty, but it's, uh, it's all surface rust. So and it's not that bad, uh, which is good, which means all I need to do is sand it down. Uh, I did buy some, I think it's a semi-gloss paint, and then I'm, I've got uh, some of that truck bed liner spray paint, too, that I'm going to hit that with just as an extra protectant. And I will probably do that in here. It looks like there was some kind of coating, and I don't know who put that on, um, if... If my dad did when they were rebuilding this, I don't know. Uh, looks like there is some rust right along in here. A big, a big crack. So to my fellow VW builders out there, um, don't know if that's uh, really vital to the structure of the car. If I need to actually cut that out and reweld a piece in. Please let me know if it's just a skin that, you know, kind of comes down and covers everything and it's not going to be a big deal. Shoot me a comment. Let me know. Because um, I don't. <laughs> I'll be real honest. Uh, but I do, I do plan to uh, go through and, and, and probably clean this up. It looks like there was some kind of uh, a cushion or a mount um, that, that the gas tank kind of sat against maybe to help against vibrations but i'll i'll sand all this down uh and, and probably shoot most of this with uh that that truck bed liner spray paint uh just for some extra protection um you know the car's old and i don't know how many more times it's going to get rebuilt with me uh hopefully just the one and i can enjoy it until i got to pass it on to my kids um but i want to make sure that uh, it's in good shape whenever they get it. So I'm going to do all that I can to make sure that everything is right and we get everything taken care of so that the car will uh, be safe for me and safe for them. So that is it for today. Uh, thanks for clicking the thumbnail, watching the, the video. Uh, thank you if you are a subscriber uh, for uh, sharing this channel and giving me thumbs up and comments, stuff like that. I appreciate any help that I can get on this journey. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm having fun doing it. That's the main thing. Um, if you're new, hey, welcome, and thanks for watching again. All righty, everybody. We'll, uh, we'll see you next time.